Welcome to the Profis Rebar video tutorial series, where you will learn how to use the software to design post-installed rebar connections in different application cases. In this first video, you will learn how to get started with the software with a slab-to-wall design. First, select your country of design and choose your design standard. You can choose between Eurocode 2 and ACI codes. Next, select the type of material that is going to be connected to the existing concrete and choose the type of new or existing structure you are going to connect. Finally, you will have to choose the application. You will have to decide between standard or all applications. Choosing standard applications allows you to design according to Eurocode standards. Choosing all applications allows you to include design of rigid connections based on using the Hilti Hit Rebar design method. Then choose Simply Supported Wall or Slab. Once you've selected your application, click on OK. This launches you into the design landing page. The structure is ready for you to input the dimensions. Scroll the mouse over the measure points and click to enter the desired values. Then select your load type. You can do this either per meter or per bar. Then input the load, either on the load button in the taskbar or directly onto the structure. You can select Design for Yield if you want the anchorage length calculated on the basis of the yield strength of the post-installed rebar. Further along the taskbar, you can select the type of design, such as fire, seismic, or fatigue. Static design is applied by default. The next step is to select your drilling method and base material. Now we have to input data to the existing structure. On the top tab, go to Existing Structure. Select the direction of cracks in the base material with respect to the direction of the post-installed rebar. This button is deactivated when the Eurocode 2 design is followed. Next, in the Temperature section, you can input short-term, long-term, and installation temperatures. If you choose not to select a temperature, use the default setting provided. Input the main concrete cover. Input the reinforcement. This button is disabled if you don't need it in the design. In installation conditions, choose the material condition and the drilling condition. Then move to the new structure and begin to input data for the top reinforcement. Input the concrete cover and bond condition. Then input the minimum reinforcement. This is the minimum reinforcement required by the design code. Next do bottom reinforcement, inputting the concrete cover, bond condition, and minimum reinforcement. If you click on advanced options, you can select the number of layers of rebar and the concrete cover of each layer. Then select shear reinforcement. If you select With, you have the option to input the inclination of the compression struts and of the shear reinforcement. These angles must be the same angles used in the design phase of the slab. In addition, you can select the rebar diameter of the top and bottom reinforcement you want to use in your design. You can select the spacing Otherwise, the software optimizes the solution with the maximum spacing. Finally, choose the design method and the product you are going to use. The software immediately provides a solution. When selecting the hit rebar design method, the anchorage length is further reduced. After extensive research, Hilti developed a design method which allows for the further reduction of the anchorage length when specific boundary conditions are fulfilled. 
Finally, you can print all the calculations in one click. You can create a design report and also link to the Hilti BIM CAD library. You can also create a specification text for the project. The project and company details can be filled out for documentation purposes and also be sent as an email. Should you want to have a look at the approvals referenced in the design report, click on Approval or go to the Online Technical Library for more information. You can save this project to refer back to later and reopen the project from Profis. That's the end of Video 1 of the three-part Profis Rebar tutorial series. Videos 2 and 3 will cover wall-to-foundation and slab-to-slab -slab design. Don't forget that from Profis Software, you can link directly to Hilti Online and the Hilti Online Technical Library, where you can access and download approvals. For further information, please don't hesitate to contact Hilti.